Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wan Shi here. So today, I'll be introducing you guys on a very new small formula, which is index and match. So, how we can study this is that you have to understand this index and match is actually made out of two different formulas, which is called index and another one is called match. So in this video, we'll be deep diving into the meaning of this index and match separately and how it works together as a one formula. All right. So right now, I have this data set over here. It was called as a range. And to see that we have current, we have wording hello, and that's X. And we will be using index to show you guys on how we can get the car inside this as a result of our formula. So let's start off with an index where you can see that this is the formula component of this index function. So the array meaning that the data range that you want with end result that you want have inside this. Then we should default to i die. Then the row number is that what we want is actually a car, the car, right? So you can see this is the row number two. And then the column number is optional, but in this case we would need it where the column is actually three. So you can see that when we click enter, it will have the car result because the car is at the row 2 and column 3. So let's say if you want to get this x. So what we have to do, I'll just delete this, I'll remove this. Then selecting the array again. Then the row number is 3. Then the column is 5. So you can get x result over here. Okay, we will be deep diving into the match function. So we'll start off with the formula of match. Then lookup value is vanilla. Um cell referencing E3. Lookup array in this B3 to B6. And then match type. This is actually important because we want to have only S and match. So we have to be as accurate as possible. That's why we put it as a zero. Final answer that we get is three. Where let's say we change this into peanut. Then you'll see that this one turns into two. So you can see that match actually returns the number of the row that we are actually referencing to. All right, now we have come to our first example for this tutorial. So of course, when we want to look up something, we will does need to have an anchor, right? In this case, this is this uh, G2 or we vanilla. So now, start with the match, then lookup value is vanilla. Lookup array is A3 to A8 because it's only here. Then exact match is zero. Then now we will get the number four because this at the row mm -hmm. four. Okay. So we will start off with index, then array. Again, this is the range of the result that you are looking for, which is only the value. The row number in is four. Then the column number is optional, and in this case, we only have one, so we can just ignore it. And we will get the final answer of nine zero eight. Then, lastly, we will see how these two can match together. So we we'll start off with an index and match. This one will select the revenue match function over here, where we insert a match. Then lookup value is vanilla. Lookup array is over the a3 until a8. The match type is zero. Then we close bracket and then close bracket again because we have two functions over here. Can see that this. Uh, use the same result as 908. I'm sorry, 980. And why? What's the difference between these two units? So if let's say I change this into this patch row, this is my favorite nut, then you can see that this match actually changed to 3, and this, the number also changed to 6, 4, 8, 0. While for this index, it is the same because fix it as far and not as dynamic. 
So that's why it is important for us to have a dynamic referencing so that the value can change whenever we change the lookup value. Okay, now we have come to our example number two. Right, in this case, we have two import values. One is the row, one is the column. So now we'll start off with the match row first, where we start the formula, then lookup value is this, Mia, plus is the number of the, the students here. Then the up array is this, A3 until A5, and also we want the asset match. So you can see that this is, Mia is, is at the student number two. While for the column, it's actually using the same principle. We reference the maps. Then lookup array is this. This is horizontal instead of the vertical. Then we will have the exact match as. So you can see that if it's Mia and if it's math, then Mia is at the row two and then math is at the column one. Then for the index, we array is the data set or the end result range that you want. Then for this case, Mia is at the row two and the column is at the row one. So this one, if we fix the value, right, you can see if it's Mia and it's math, the rate that she had is B. Okay. So now let's make it more that. Let's start with the index. So this is the area that we are looking for. Then match where we are looking for a student first. The cup array is A3 to A5. And that exact match. But it doesn't stop here because we want to know which subject she has, right? So now we are comma and then include another match to get the column number. Okay. So lookup value at the map. Then lookup array is B to E. Then the match map is of course still zero. Then close bracket and you have to not, you have to insert another close bracket to close the formula of the index. Okay, so you can see we get the final result of B. And now let's try to I actually want to know how Alex is performing in English. So this, I'll change it to Alex. And this one, I'll change it to English. You will see that this one changed to A, while this one remains at B because, as I mentioned before, this is a fixed value. So it is very important for us to do dynamic referencing when we are using these formulas. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this, you may like and subscribe to my channel at the button below and I'll see you in my next video. See you next time.